I mean, I, I will be 85 at that point. I will be Barman's age. But then we might need some Botox. Yeah. <laughs> um, listen, they turn, if they turned up to me tomorrow with the script, I'd be there like that, and so would John. Because you guys are here. Um, was it fun to work with Freema when Martha appeared on the show? Yeah, she was good. It, it goes a little bit back to what I was saying about guest stars coming in. Because I often remember, and I think she's on the outtakes, actually gagging at some of the things that we, we were doing. Like, they kind of, they sort of avoided us a bit, really. But um, yeah. she, she, obviously, we'd kind of seen Freema around um, because of the proximity to, you know, shooting Doctor Who and everything. But... I don't know about you, but I had a really good time with her, she was really nice. It was like fresh meat as soon as somebody would come in. It was, it was such a, uh, a breath of fresh air for us to have new people in and to welcome and to make a fuss of and spoil them rotten and just make sure that we, we all had a rule that whoever came in to talk to us, they would just leave going, oh my God, I want to go back, I had the best time ever. So yeah, it was lovely to have her. Yep, the gentleman with the glasses here, he's got his hand up. Yep. Hello. Hello, Robert. Hello again. Um, my question involves the both of you. Of all the emotional scenes in Torchwood, like Reese's murder and Owen's murder, which would you both say are the most heartbreaking that you filmed? Yanto's death as well. That was that big part. And Toshiko. Yes. I was gut. I was. I was gutted when uh, we when we went. Me and Tosh, because I never thought she should. I didn't see the point of getting rid of her. I really didn't. I mean, like Owen, you know, would fall apart and would be part of the team. But I, I just thought it was really sad when she went as well. I think if you showed Russell T Davis those moves, you would have kept kept, <laughs> kept going in for the next season. Yeah, you know what meant to take me, don't I? I'm Tosh. Tosh. Uh, you can't say when was more emotional than the other, we were, we were losing our, you know, our, our best friends, it was horrible. I still like talk about it today and I get quite upset about it, so it's, it, it's still very raw, but um, they've gone on to do brilliant things, which is the main thing. Superstar, bringing film star here, which is great, right? And you know, Gala's doing great, Mayoko's doing great, so um, yeah, good luck to them all. Question from Me and John have been unemployed since uh, Miracle Day, haven't they? <laughs> Right down the front here, folks. I have to say, I love you both in touch as well as everyone else. Um, my question is, I've heard a lot about the pranks play, mainly instigated by John. So, what sort of pranks were they in? What's your favourite sort of? There are children in the audience, unfortunately, <laughs> so we can't tell you like the same ones. I don't know. No, no. <laughs> yeah, look, this is a clean one. Um, because there's literally one. Vern <laughs> um, and I were, were bored and uh, everybody was on set and they kept Vern and I there for about four hours on our own around the tracks. So we, we pelted everybody with new potatoes that had kind of died out. We were a bit bored of that. We couldn't find any boiled eggs to throw at people. So then we found, we, we got loads of like hot meat from the garage and we packed John Barrowman's new wellies with him <laughs> and his dogs tore apart his new wellies to get to the meat. That was a fun day. <laughs> I might not remember this, but Eve had a driver called Wynn. He was from Merca, right, I think. And I used to tease him something wrong, only because I would just love to frighten him. So I would wait till he was in his car. And they pretend that, because they're, they're on call all the time, they pretend that they're like, you know, reading or something, but actually they're usually asleep. And I would wait, wait for him to be asleep. I'm afraid I would just go, Aah! And I did it about 60 times. So I'm sure he got a nervous twitch. Do you remember it win? He didn't he like you, Bird. No, he <laughs> didn't like Bird. Oh, in lots and lots of fun times. Yeah, but as I said, it's true of here, and we have to kind of keep it cool. Yeah. A lot of it involved Barrowman's best friends, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All the time. All the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Between Barrowman's balls and Kyle's butt, it, it is quite a, a fleshy series. <laughs>
Give a lady the pink cardigan there. Hi guys, thanks for being with us in Sheffield. It's really nice to see you. I love doing Frankie. Um, really, really love doing Frankie. And I love doing Game of Thrones. Um, you've probably been asked this question a few times, but if you could have anybody in the world to join the talking team, who would it be and why? Because I had a dream that I was part of the cast and I was awesome, so I am available. If you're looking for a reunion, I'm totally available, but if you could have anybody other than me, of course. Who I had the you... same dream. <laughs> <laughs> who would you be, who would it be and why? Well, I, you know what, with all the, I, I will never be part of who, obviously. Being in Torchwood and as Owen's character, I will never be able to go into that universe, I don't think. The rest of them can. But I always thought, I mean, Sylvester McCoy, you know, I always wondered if there was some way of getting one of the old doctors back into Torchwood, perhaps as a memory, perhaps as a in shopkeeper or something. I don't know. I just thought it would have been nice to do that cross pollinization a bit more, but uh, that's just me personally. I'd like James Masters back. <laughs> That'd be great. That, and if Wonder Woman could make an appearance, I'd be very happy. <laughs> kind of my, my dream. That would be my dream. You're, you're in the dreams, yeah. You're, you're in the dreams, dream also. Maybe as Wonder Woman. <laughs> okay, we've got time for two last questions. We've got one there, and then uh, the guy with the funky ass hair, man, that's awesome. Hi, um, I was wondering, did you ever sneak onto the Doctor Who set when you were bored in this bar? <laughs> All the time. No. <laughs> the Norman has thrown more custard cakes up on the top of that TARDIS, I swear to God. We used to go in there, what the wrong with us? We used to take bags of food in and go like this. It's because we felt like, because they called themselves the big show, yeah. right? They were the we little were the, show. We were the asshole. We were like, oh yeah, okay. Well, I'll tell you we'd what. Cast, we'd cast the TARDIS like this, wouldn't we? <laughs> Onto the hub. Here come the naughty ones that should be in prison. I... Here they come. They've got to do torture, there's nothing else for them. <laughs> Put them in there, give them some bread. There's a SIM card somewhere at home with some pictures of John. The do oh. <laughs> you know, like, darlings have got that. <laughs> somewhere, I, somewhere I've got it. My pension. Read it. Maybe that. <laughs> final, uh, final question of the panel, and uh, it's that gentleman right there. Right, the last question, probably what people have been thinking. How was it like when you two kissed? Are you two kissing? It was awful! No, it was awful! It's great! <laughs> yeah, come on, come down. <laughs> I think we were drunk. <laughs> no, we were drunk. It was such a long time ago. Um, it's always weird when you when you when you do that kind of stuff. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Looks quite a strong. No, no, it is weird. It is weird. It's always weird. I just close my eyes and think of the beach. <laughs> kind of works. So you think of the sand against everywhere. The sand does go everywhere. Yeah. Right. Okay. So uh, it's your egg sandwich. I actually wish we had longer than 25 minutes for this panel, this has been awesome. Uh, so that, sadly guys, that is the end of our Torchwood panel. Please go crazy for Barn and E. Thanks everybody. And now the world